Gurramagadakahir Lock. Just a few short weeks ago marked the 50th anniversary of Bloody Sunday. As we know, Bloody Sunday occurred on the 30th of January 1972. And we know that British so soldiers shot 26 unarmed civilians during a peaceful protest march in the Bogside area of Derry, a great community, a community which has shown true resilience um, despite the darkest of times and great suffering. A uh, community in the Bogside I have visited uh, on a number of occasions. And I just want to add, you know, the atrocity of, of all of the killings in the North. But this one stands out in many ways for the wrong reasons, because it was a normal day and a peaceful protest. And I think, you know, the visions of, of what we've seen in documentaries about Bloody Sunday are certainly, you know, etched in many, many people's minds, along with many other um, events, you know, that, that we remember, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons. But we know that 14 people died uh, in Derry, 13 were killed outright, while the death of another man four months later was attributed to his injuries. Many of the victims were shot while fleeing from the soldiers, and some were shot while trying to help the wounded. Other protesters injured uh, also by rubber bullets or batons, and two were run down by British Army vehicles, while some were beaten. The march had been organised by the Northern Ireland Civil Rights Association to protest against internment without trial, and it was their absolute right, as is the right of any group, to hold a peaceful protest, particularly when they were suffering under such injustice and such really, really harsh uh, regime at the time. The soldiers in question that carried out the atrocity from the 1st Battalion of the Parachute Regiment uh, was the same battalion uh, implicated in the Bally Murphy massacre several months earlier. And I actually watched the documentary on that um, very recently, and it was absolutely horrendous um, what has happened there and the many, many unanswered questions and indeed the suffering of so many families uh, involved and caught up in that. I mean, I just remember at one point where the priest ran across the green uh, in Bally Murphy and was gunned down. Um, it was shocking what happened. Uh, there are questions, and those questions need to be answered. And we need to ensure that the British government is held accountable. And an amnesty is not the answer. It's not acceptable. It will deepen the wounds of so many suffering Remember. families. We need questions, and we need to make sure this government asks the questions and gets answers from the British government.